so. Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to Stein World. Steen World? Stein World? I don't even know how to say it. It looks, because it says Steen, and it's like all rocks. I'm just going to say this. I think it says Stone World, right? So it's like German stone. But like we've seen, the, the Stein, which is the beer mug, that seems to be what everybody's saying. Um, So here, let me just join the, the US world real quick. And I want to show you something that is programming and kind of a little bit of hackery and kind of a little bit of gameplay. I mean, it's it really is it it really is part of who I am and like the things that I do on the internet for fun as a hobby, my job. This is the stuff I do. When I look at a game like this, I'm like, man, this is really intricate. How does this work on a web page? First thing I do is I hit F12 and I start going and looking at the code itself, right? I'm looking at the elements and I was like, oh my gosh, what is all this stuff in here, right? And I'm like, this is pure JavaScript. I don't, I don't know if you guys, can you see that at all? Here, hold on. Um, can I pull this up at all? Oh gosh, hold on. Maybe if I do this. All right. What if I did this? There we go. Is that easier? Can you can you see the elements now? So as I was scrolling through here, I started looking and I'm like, there's a lot of cool stuff. Oh, what is that? Oh, is that a moderator panel? Now, quick disclaimer, it doesn't actually work because you have to activate it somehow server side. I'm probably either not smart enough or I, I'm just not going to take the chance. I'm not going to activate the moderator, but I will show it to you. So right now it says display none. So I'm just going to type in inline and bam. Look at that. We now have, oh, I got to, I got to resize this again. Hold on. How do I, oh, you guys can't even see the moderator window. I am horrible at, the, at doing this. This is a bad tutorial, bad code. Code, why are you teaching my son to hack? I'm not actually, I'm just showing him some code. Okay. So check this out. This is a moderator's panel. Uh, I know I'm like I'm probably not supposed to be inside here, but I um, looked around and there are eight different chat zones, like Europe unknown, Farshore, Rocky, and Walden, uh, Waldenbach, Waldenbach, Shire, Waldenbach Shire. Great. We're gonna have another Wishershire sauce place on our hand. Walken, Waldenbach Shire. Waldenbach Shire salts. That should be a thing. And then we can figure out how to pronounce that. Anyhow, you can also see the entities. Each one of them has like a UUID, which means it's got 844412, I think. That's a, that's a UUID. Each one of these UUIDs. That's another cool thing about programming. UUIDs are specific um, like identifiers that will never repeat. That's That's the what they tell us. I'm not sure that that's the case anymore because we've generated a ton of UUIDs. It might not be the same thing. Like there might be a UUID for an image and a UUID for a document. And those two are the exact same UUIDs, but they would never meet in the universe because that document and that other thing <laughs> would never be in the same program or same place. Uh, anyhow, like I said, you, you can't do anything with it, but I thought it was kind of cool. Um, the next thing that I was doing is I opened up GIMP, right? And I was going to go through and kind of make a, uh, oh gosh, I can't see anything. It just sees, here, display one. Fade, 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 fade. There you go. So inside here, I was going to go file, new, and I'm going to make this huge because I'm, I'm just going to show you straight up. One, two, three. And then one, one, two, three. So that should be 10,000. Oops. 10,000 pixels, 10,000 pixels. Warning, it's gonna be almost a gigabyte big. That's uh, 932 megabytes. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, I do wanna do that. That is a horrible color. What is that? Right click, can we add alpha? Oh. Add alpha channel, there we go. So now I should be able to control A, delete. Nope, control A, delete. 
There we go. We've got a blank screen. Now, what I was doing was I want to make a map. All right. Now, here's the thing. If you hit F11, it goes into full screen. You can hold Alt and then hit print screen. It'll take a snapshot. Oops, I'm going to do that again. Snapshot of the program or the screen that you're in. We switch back over to GIMP, Control V, and we can paste it in. But here's the thing. I am going to be making a, a huge map of this stuff, and I don't want this in the way. I don't want, uh, yo boy, yo boy, I don't want the invite in there. I don't want the chat window, and I don't want all this extra stuff in here. So, we gotta hide it, right? If I'm gonna take good screenshots, I need to be able to hide stuff. So we're gonna hit F12, open this up again, and I'm just gonna start looking for each one of these, like the invite, this, all this stuff up here at the top, okay? All right, so this Stein container. I'm just gonna grab this ID right here because that's gonna be one that I want. Copy. Now we're gonna bust out a handy dandy Blues Clues notepad here and just take note of all of our different ones. So that's the, that's the chat window. That's a whole overlay. We're not gonna get rid of that. Chat window is not visible at the moment. Okay. Quest log overlay. We're going to need to get rid of that. Copy it. Notepad. And then, okay, so the quick bar container. We're going to need that ID. And for those of you that don't understand programming, each one of these divs is actually what is the container for each one of these things. So like this Mr. Code 11 health bar, stamina bar, Mana bar, all that stuff is inside a window, inside a window, inside a div. And it's all just basically controlled with the div. Um, there should be a, not joystick. Stein cast bar container, that's for when you're casting spells. Stein rewards overlay. Uh, zone overlay. Context menu. Oh, I haven't found all of them yet. Where's my health health bar? I got that one. All right, chat one doesn't know. Quick bar. Oh, there it is. Player container. Stein player container. Okay, and we need our target. So is there a Stein target container? Ah, sure is, right below it. Look at that. So Stein target container. I think that's all five of the windows that I can see. One, two, three, four, five. So there's five. I gotta figure out what that invite window is. Hold on. Oh no, that's part of the uh, the player container. So as soon as I hide that, it should hide as well. Um, for those of you that don't know programming, this is gonna be a little confusing at first, but inside a console, down here at the, the bottom left-hand side of any browser window, you can hit F12 either on Edge, Chrome, uh, Firefox, all of those, and you can manipulate things inside. So like, if I were to just do alert, hello world. <laughs> hello, ho hello world. Oh, did it not uncaught unexpected token? What? Alert. Test. Yeah, there it goes. So us.steinworld says test. So you can you can send little alert messages and stuff like that, right? So if I do document dot get element by ID and then I type in some identifier, such as Stein target container, up here at the top right hand side, see the far shore guard? We're gonna do it to that one first. Oh, oh, oh what is that? Get out of there. And then paste dot style dot display equals none. I think that'll work. Yeah, there it went, see? up the top side. If you missed it, go back a couple of seconds, you can see it. But I'm gonna take this whole thing and I'm actually going to um, make a process for it. Document dot get element by ID colon, whoops, wrong parentheses, wrong direction. So I'm just gonna copy that, 
and I'm gonna paste it in front of all this stuff, and then I'm gonna finish them out. So the last part was end quote dot display. No, is it style? Yeah, style dot style dot display equals quotation marks none, right? So then I can take that, copy it, paste, 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 paste. Take the whole thing. I'm gonna copy it and paste it a second time, and I want to blot out or null out the none. Just like that. That way I can make the stuff come back. Ooh, control Z. Control copy. All right, I'm gonna tr copy all five of my commands there. I'm gonna come over here to my console. What is this? Error. PayPal logger API logger was blocked by client. I don't know what that means. Uncaught exception. No such element. Exception key not found. Element human. Tool fighter underscore what? What is that? Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Copy. I may have just found something while teaching you how to discover stuff. Stein.world slash paste. Entities human tool fighter. Get entities not found. Hmm. US.steinworld slash assets. Game client. Would it be under assets slash entities? We can, we can try slash assets in there. Oh, oh, um, let's see. Like that? No? All right. Well, I found something um, just by reading the code. Entities, human, tool, fighter, and then there's numbers, dot PNG. That's an image file, dot PNG is. So I'm sure like this sprite right here, that might be what's that human is anyhow um okay so distracted have you ever noticed i have adhd copy we're gonna take this over and we're just gonna paste it straight into the command we now have a nice clean interface oh i missed one dang it we gotta get rid of that one as well so all right we gotta go find this one what is this this player hub and if we go into the elements, uh, player hub, player hub, player hub. There's a player container. Oh, what is this? Oh, is it called shortcuts container? Stein shortcuts container. That sure is. Copy that. All right. We can just add it into our code. Nice and easy. So take and paste the name. Paste that, take this back out. So, it's kind of a programming episode, kind of not, but at the same time, I thought you guys might wanna see this, see the stuff that I do and have fun with it. I mean, maybe I could encourage you to go and learn how to program, you know? And if I get one programmer out of all you guys, I've done something right. <laughs> so, all right. So we're back, full screened, and wait for the little thing to disappear. I'm just going to put the icon directly on me. Hold Alt, press Print. Now, if we go back over to our thing and paste. Oh, uh, okay. So, we'll just drop drop that down. Drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Okay. So. If you look, much cleaner. See how the all the interfacing is gone, right? This way you can make nice pictures, line everything up. Oops, control Z, control Z. Actually, that's fine. Um, we want to delete this one. So, and by the way, this is this is going to be a huge map. Um, this is not in comparison to. Uh, what is it? It's the resources map. So if you go, wow, no, 
Did it just make all my stuff come back? Dang it. That's okay. We got F12. We got paste. Well, that was not it. Was it? All right. Copy. And paste. There we go. So we can get rid of all that stuff again. Um, what was I doing? Okay, so there is this thing. Stain World Resource Map. I should be able to find it. There we go. I don't know who this person is or like where it came from, but this post right here with this image. And actually, I'm just going to, can I, can I download image? Yeah, let's do save image as, and we will put it into pictures and save, close, and close that one as well. We're gonna go into GIMP. Let's make a new file. Actually, we, we can open it. I mean, we don't have to. So go to pictures. And it should be the latest and greatest one. Maybe. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, so um, I know that this is a picture of the overlay. And this also shows you, like, resources where to get wood and rocks and something else. Uh, the bushes So trees bushes and, and veins there we go um, But I noticed something If we go and take a screenshot here, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll head up here real quick So this is the main town where I, I showed you guys like the the inn and all that stuff, right? I'm just gonna take a, a picture right here standing right in the middle I want you to see how well this actually like matches up. Um, let's go to resize. We're gonna scale this down by percentage by 23.7%, I think. Oh no, it's gotta go way down. But that's gonna make it all jittery. I don't want to do that. That's okay. Here, let's uh, let's go ahead and move this down. I'll just show you it like it matches up. It's crazy how well this matches up. All right, we want to scale again. We're gonna scale you down, 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 and I think we need to go down there as well. So, oh, that was too that was too small. Control Z, Control Z. Uh, resize it down again. I had this working so well earlier. Okay, let's scale it to right about there. Is that too small? That is too small. So, try it again. We're going to just resize. Pull down. Until, actually, can I can I make this like? Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so let's go to the, over here. See where this this little path bends right here. If I set this to just about where it's equal in length and size and all that. Okay, we need to stretch it out this way a little bit more. This way. Oh, hold on. Go back up a little bit more. Just about there. Okay. I think... I think that'll do. Okay, so... Um, 93 by 52, 93 by 52. We're going to set this adjustment all the way back up, scale it out, 93 by 52. So if you look at the map and you look at the resources, they are like one for one. So I can go over here. What, what did I say the size was? 93 by 52. 94 by 53, 94 by 53. Let's go back over to our notepad real quick. 
94 by 53. Okay, so. Oh my gosh, I made a 20 minute video out of this. Um, I'm going to head all the way over here to the left. We're going to go ahead and set this down to its own layer. New layer. Oh, come on. And I'm just going to walk straight over here. I'm going to get this wall just straight on the, the right hand side of me. Come on, stop. Nope, too far. Too far. Too fart. There we go. So, that right there. Alt, print screen. Switch over to here, and we're going to paste and resize to 94 by 53. Scale it. Hold on. Where'd you go? Where'd it go? Get him out. Oh, it's like way over there. Oh my gosh. Come here, you. Like went way off the screen. But this scaling, 94 by 53, look at this. Look at that. W would you look at that? Would you look at that? Now, I can't line it up exactly, but I, I, I don't know if you can get any closer than that. So um, you, there's two things you can do. You can do it where it's straight up resolution and it looks like the map. It's going to be a huge file. Or you can scale it down, oops, you can scale it down, lay it over the top of the resources map, and it it literally is like one for one. Like, here's what it looks like, and there's the actual map. What it looks like, and the map. Looks like, map. Like, it's, it's kind of cool if you just... I don't know. I don't know why that's impressive to me. It's like details to a map that's been blurred. I smell like beef. <laughs> okay. I think that's it. I, I, that's that's all I got for now to show you uh, as far as like the programming and stuff goes. Um, I have been trying to like, I was messing with the canvas a little bit, trying to get uh, like copy image from can, canvas JavaScript. And I thought to myself, what if I were to get a continuous loop where it would copy, 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 but it would continuously try and stitch the images together as one big image. And then all I'd have to do is just walk around like this and it would start determining like the different pictures. Take a, take a screenshot every like 20, 30 seconds as you move or not, not even that, like every five seconds, screenshot, stitch, screenshot, stitch. Uh, if you, any of you guys have ideas like that, Comment, please. Let me know down below. Um, I don't think I have a different outro for you guys. I've got zero decaf coffee and I got regular outro. So I think I think I'm just gonna do the regular out outro. Oh, I could do Steam credits. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm good. That's it for now. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Steam with me, Heath Haskins. Steam, Steam, Stein. It's Stein. Code. It's say Stein. Thank you for watching this episode of Programming with me, Heath Haskins Code Primate. Just showing you the game that I'm obsessed with right now and the things that I'm doing to it and how you can too. And I hope you get interested in some kind of programming in your life. Um, if, you, if you want my personal opinion on what data sets you should probably learn, SQL is a big one. Make sure you are, are fluent in how to do select statements, SQL databasing, uh, whether you use Microsoft SQL or you use trans, uh, tran transaction SQL, trans SQL, or even, you know, Postgres, either way, whatever your flavor of SQL is, just make sure you learn databasing. All right. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you, buddy. Soon. Outro. Outro.